With North Korea U.S. talks stalled, extra attention was paid to Kim Jong Un's New Year's speech. That perhaps it could provide somewhat of a breakthrough. While the State Department decided not to comment on it, President Donald Trump was more candid, expressing hopes of holding another summit with the regime's leader. Lee Ji Wen shares with us his remarks. In response to Kim Jong Un's New Year speech, U.S. President Donald Trump said he too looks forward to meeting with his North Korean counterpart. President Trump on Tuesday evening tweeted the comment together with part of news report that says Kim Jong Un is ready to meet President Trump any time. He referred to Kim as someone who realizes that North Korea possesses great economic potential. Trump's tweet also included the part of the report where it said the regime will not make or test nuclear weapons or give them to others. This follows the North Korean leader's New Year speech early on Tuesday, where he said he is firmly determined to denuclearize. But Kim also said, should the U.S. not keep its promise to the world and only urge the North to take measures, Pyongyang will have no choice but to find other ways to settle peace on the Korean Peninsula. And in making a peaceful and prosperous peninsula, Kim said efforts for multi-party talks should be made to change the current armistice agreement to a declaration to end the Korean War and have South Korea seize all military drills with other foreign sources. Kim Jong-un's New Year speech was long awaited by many around the world as it was hoped to provide a breakthrough in the current months-long deadlock in the denuclearization talks. But the U.S. seemed to be careful on its evaluation of the speech. A U.S. State Department spokesperson speaking to Seoul-based Yonhap News Agency on the condition of anonymity on Tuesday said the U.S. declines the opportunity to comment. While such a response is uncommon, some watchers say that the temporary shutdown of the U.S. federal government may have been a reason for it. Meanwhile, major U.S. media outlets reported on how the deadlock still continues. The New York Times said that the nuclear negotiations are back at square one, as the North's demands are not that different from before the summit. And the Washington Post cited a senior analyst who said that the U.S. should move decisively in the new year to find out how far Kim is willing to go towards a verified cap on his arsenal. Lee Ji-won, Arirang News.